Hiya, I'm Jasper, and welcome to your video review for Motherland, Fort Salem. As always, I'm going to give the good, the bad, and the furry. So, this is a show starring people I haven't heard of in, or seen them in anything else. Um, <laughs> but what it is, is it's a show where uh, basically back in the like Salem Witch Trials time frame, uh, instead of killing all the witches, the witches made a bargain to work magic for the U.S. or whoever else, um, instead of getting burned. And so there's a lot of similarities to today's technology, but because the witches have been doing kind of all the war fighting, there hasn't been the same type of military technology. And I think, I think this is based on a book series or something, maybe? Because a little terminology, I'm like, mm. But yeah, so... That's kind of the, the scene setter for every witch. When she turns 18, she has the option of, like, enlisting as part of their, like, recruitment process thing where they, like, make a pledge and then they're into the army, so to speak, um, for basic training. And then, depending on how they do there, they either go to, like, officer school or get pushed to the front lines type of thing. So it's one of those type of, like, we're in a school environment, but we're over 18, and I thoroughly enjoyed this show. Partly because there's lesbians, and they are very hot lesbians, and I like that it was not the defining characteristic of the character. It was a character who happened to be lesbian, and another character who happened to not be, and another character who happened to kind of do other things, so like, there was that aspect because, you know, it's... I don't want to say it's a high school type show, but it's a school, it's a, it's a school based show. I mean, sure, it's a basic training for witches that are going to go off and fight in battles and whatnot, but it's still, when it comes down to it, one of those type of coming of age, growing up, learning in a school environment type shows. Um, and I liked that while there was lesbians and other type of sexualities, um, that wasn't the defining characteristic. They were otherwise very interesting characters. Um, in terms of furry, there wasn't really any that I can remember, so sorry. Um, but yeah, uh, the acting was awesome, just absolutely fantastic. None of it felt forced, and I think that the first half of the season had really good writing and good pacing and... Um, like you really felt these characters, you you care about them, you feel for them. It's it. I, I honestly just kind of went into the show because I'm like, yeah, okay, witches, sure, I'll see some magic or whatever. Um, but no, this was this was very engaging. That being said, after about episode six, it went a little downhill. Um, the up until that point, most of the actions in universe were made sense for within the universe that they were creating. But I felt after episode six, and I think this is a 10 episode show, after about episode six, they started taking some real big liberties with where you kind of had to like bend over backwards to justify and, and explain why they would choose to do things this way, as opposed to the way that would make much more obvious sense. You're like, well, maybe because of this. Um, and then especially like the last couple episodes, like last episode especially, like really, really? I don't believe you at all. So, um, I'm still excited for season two. I hope they make a season two. I hope they kind of fix some of the things for season two. But just go in there knowing that the first half was really great. Second half, not so much. Um, I liked getting to know what these witches and their powers and their backgrounds and their inspirations over the course of the show. I found that very interesting and engaging, so good character development. Um, but yeah, so now here's a, I'm going to call this a minor spoiler because it kind of references things that happen towards the last half of the show. Um, so tune out now if you don't want to see an event. They broke up my favorite couple. <laughs> they broke them up. <laughs> and I was really sad about that because I really like this couple. And... They broke them up, and they kept on, like, tugging at your heartstrings because they're like, are they going to get back together? Is it justified? Should they? Should they not? Where's this going? Like, are they feeling? Are they going to change their feelings? Who's going to win out? Like, is, is love going to conquer all type of thing? And they just, 
They just, they, they didn't, they took a long time peeling this band-aid off. And then they just, they, I didn't like how this ended. I did not like what they did with my favorite couple. I, it was not what I wanted. Um, <laughs> they're my favorite couple, and that's not how things went. So I, I would say to find a big old screen to watch this on, if you can. Uh, it's on Hulu right now. Um, try watch on a big screen, because hot lesbians are hot, and they have some fun, you know, actions with some magic. But if you don't like your favorite couple being broken up, or the last part of the season not making sense, then I would say skip, unless you're a super fan. That's, that's what I have to say about this show. <laughs> All right. So I hope you enjoyed this. I uh, hope to review season two at some point. Hopefully it comes out. But let me know what you thought, if you see it, in the comments down below. Alright, thanks for coming, thanks for watching, hope to see you in the next one. Bye!